Hi everybody, Joanne again with a work in progress. And if you happen to be new to my channel and you're stopping by, thank you so much, greatly appreciate that. And if you are the type of person that likes home decor videos and thrift haul videos, DIYs and crafting, then I would love it for you to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified when I upload additional videos. So today I wanna share something kind of extra special with you. As you can see, we're outside on my back deck. I went thrifting yesterday afternoon in the crawl space under my house to see what items I could find. And I came up with some pretty good pieces. Some I completely forgot that I had, others I knew that were, they were under there, so that's what I was kind of going to look for. So let me go ahead and get started and show you what I found. A while back, I think I shared with you that I used to collect old uh, kitchen items. It was mostly utensils, but I found this. I completely forgot that I had it. Uh, an old, uh, I guess it's coffee pot um, with the wrapped cord. If you can remember, I mean, way back when, it's a little damaged on the bottom. I'm, I don't plan on using it. Uh, this is from Silex. And I think this is going to be a really pretty kind of accent decor piece when I get my coffee station all put together. Also found this. I believe it's aluminum. It's from Universal, made in the United States. And it's a juicer. And you would put your piece of orange in there, press down on that handle, and the orange juice would come right out here. I uh, don't think I'm going to use it, but I really like it, and I think it'll be a great uh, addition to my kitchen. found this old ball mason jar in this beautiful blue color. This may have been under the house when I bought the house, because I don't remember getting this at all. As you can see, the cap here is rusted out, but it has a glass insert in the lid. I don't even want to try unscrewing this because I don't want to risk damaging the glass here. I will just clean this gorgeous piece up and use it as a decor item. Next, I stumbled across these nine little baby terracotta pots. They are three and a quarter inches. Um, they look brand new. Uh, these I'm pretty certain were under the house when I purchased it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, if I'm going to use them simply as decor pieces, or maybe I can find something cute to craft with them. Found another terracotta piece under there, which is a strawberry pot. And if you remember from my previous videos, I kill almost every living plant that I touch. So I will not be using this for strawberries. Um, I don't know, I, maybe I can find something to do with it or just use it for decor. So if you're liking my finds so far, go ahead and hit that uh, thumbs up button and let me know. Now this piece I remember purchasing here in Raleigh at the Habitat Restore. And it is the top to a chimney, it's like a chimney cap. And um, on your house, this goes on the top of the chimney and this mesh keeps animals from actually getting into and going down inside of your chimney. Honestly, I don't remember what my intention was to do with it when I purchased it. So if anybody has any thoughts or ideas on what I could use that for, uh, please go ahead and leave me a comment down below and maybe together we can come up with something really cool for it. This piece I also purchased at the Habitat Restore. I think I paid $5 for it here in Raleigh. And I purchased it in this condition, totally rusted. I loved it when I purchased it and I still love it now. It is a candelabra uh, for pillar candles here and back here, and then two right here. And that is dangerous, let me tell you. <laughs> so um, this is another kind of rustic-y piece that I'll use somewhere in my home. And, um, not sure if I mentioned, I think I paid $5 for it. So I have, uh, which I haven't shared with you, I have two old caned seat chairs that the cane is completely destroyed on. And I've seen where some folks use the, the seat part as kind of like uh, um, to pop plants in and such. So um, I was going to do, try the same thing with 
the two chairs that I have, but of course with faux flowers. So I was going to make a trip to either uh, a Seymour or Michaels, but guess what I found underneath my house in the crawl space? Faux mums. There's quite a number of them. So I am very hopeful that I will have enough flowers that I can do both of the chairs. And I also found these different colored mums in pretty, there's two of them in this real pretty, um, I'm not sure if it's, I guess it's a, it's a ceramic vase. Um, now these are in here, but if I need to, I will remove them um, and add them to those seats so that it'll make it nice and full. And once I finish that project, I'll show that to you. I also have, this is an old, it's probably an outdoor lamp. Um, the electrical guts are still in it. My thoughts on this piece though uh, were to remove all of the electrical guts and maybe put a bunch of fairy lights inside of it. Um, I love, I think you can make it out a bit. The glass is wavy um, on it, which I really like and it's all intact too. So um, I'm going to see how that works out. I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to leave it the kind of distressed green that it is. Just clean it up a little bit. Oh, sorry, I think I hit the camera leg, sorry. The next piece I have had for at least 20 years. I don't remember when I got it, but it, it confirms to me that I have always had a like for kind of rusticy pieces in my home. And here it is. It is an old coal bucket. Don't know, like I said, where or when I got this and it has the little scoop in it as well. I'm rusting out a little bit, but that's okay. It just adds to the charm of it. Perfect farmhouse rustic piece, I think. Love that. Also have this. Again, don't know where or when. And tell me if I'm right or wrong. I think this lantern is from used on the railway or was used on a railway. It has, this side is a, I think it's a blue, and then this side is a red. It's just this really, really dirty. Don't even, oh gosh, yes, it will open up. Ugh. <laughs> Looks like at one point in time, I had a tea light candle in there. <laughs> so that's the interior of it. It just really, it needs, obviously, it needs a really good cleaning there. But another piece that I think is going to be perfect for that kind of rustic feel that I'm going for. And the last piece is a rather large one. Um, it is, oh my goodness, heavy. <laughs> oh, price is still on the back. I paid $5.99 for this. And it, as you can see, it, it's just a solid wood medicine cabinet with an intact mirror, shelving on the inside, if you can see that, and then an open shelf on the bottom. Now let me set this down. So that piece I am gonna use in my master bathroom. Currently, I, I have a medicine chest, but it's, I call it the builder grade kind of medicine chest that they put in a lot of homes. And I'm not very fond of it, and it just doesn't have that feel that I want anyway. So I'm gonna replace that with this piece right here. I think it's gonna add some charm to my little master bath that I have. So that is it for my free thrift haul from the crawl space in my house. And if you have a crawl space or a basement, go for it. Like me, you just never know what you're gonna find down there that you completely forgot was down there to start with. Um, that is it for today. If you are a current subscriber to my channel, as always, I thank you very much for that. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody that likes this type of video, go ahead and share it with them. Um, I will be back on Friday, I believe it is, for the $5 Goodwill Challenge. I have my item. I just haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with it, so I better get working on that. Until then, I hope the rest of your week is fabulous and goes by really fast so the weekend can come and to a screeching halt and go really slow. Until then, everybody, uh, have a wonderful next couple of days. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.